Hey guys, Audrey Cleo here, hanging out on the set of Disney XD's new show, Kirby Buckets. And joining me now, Jacob Bertrand, who's the star. He plays Kirby. <laughs> thanks for thanks for having me in your TV home. Hey, no problem. Please show me the world of Kirby Buckets. So this is the room in which I live. Okay. Uh, so over here, this is where all the magic happens. This is where I draw everything on my magical tablet, which mm -hmm. kind of disappeared because we wrapped season one already. But <laughs> <laughs> this okay. is the TV slash uh, gaming part mm -hmm. of my room. Cool posters and whatnot. And yeah. actually, through here, let's see if the door works. Oh, it sweet, it does. <laughs> hey! Hi! There's like a fake little uh, st uh, TV stairwell. stairwell. These are not in the show, but they're just kind of like doodles I've done, and that's Macho Taco representing. Now, have you learned to actually draw these characters? I actually have. Try butt. Three that's... butts. <laughs> kind of self-explanatory. I mean, yeah. anyone would think that funny. If you don't think it's funny, <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what country you live in. Yeah. On. You might not think farts are funny, and farts are hilarious. Farts are hilarious. Farts. Like, come on, guys. Yeah. Uh, this is Big Bald Loaf. It's kind of like my favorite TV show. And Kirby's idol is actually the animator the, yeah, for that the creator, show, right? Yeah, Mac McAllister. He's actually, Mac McAllister is actually from Forest Hills and he became an animator. So that's okay. kind of like an even bigger inspiration for me because like I can really relate to him and kind of think like, wow, he just came from like wacky, weird Forest Hills, you know? <laughs> Tell me about Kirby. Are you like him? Yeah, uh, I'm a lot like him. We uh, we both like to draw. He's maybe a little bit more talented than I am. Okay. But uh, yeah, we're both uh, pretty chill, you know. He is a, a very uh, tight group of friends, you know. It's just him, Fish, and Eli, and it's a very, they're super like tight knit, and they're like, the show is pretty much like about their friendship and like, like all the wacky adventures that they go on, like mm -hmm. kind of like awkward moment situations. We are now in the S&P Market. S&P Market, this is kind of like the place where uh, me, Kate, and Makai come and hang out after school. If you're wondering about the weird truck behind us, some trucker kind of like ran into here and he tried to press on the brake, but he stepped on the gas on accident. Oh, and now it. it's just here and it kind of like holds up the whole building. Okay. Kate Sutton, hey. oh my goodness. Hi. Hi everybody. <laughs> I'm Kate. This is basically our hangout. This is where we mm -hmm. come after school. Now, do these actually work or are no, they? No, okay. they don't. I wish they did. It used to work, but I think uh, Kate broke it. Oh yeah, I broke it. <laughs> What'd you do? What'd you do? You're the troublemaker, yes. aren't you? You're yes. the one that Kirby has to bail out yes, all exactly. the time. Um, Eli is basically a naive, lovable kid, has a heart of gold. And I think everyone's gonna love him. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even Kirby's when he. The, the one in the middle, he's kind of like, you know, I think we should do it. <laughs> <laughs> in, in fishes. Yeah, we gotta do it. So, <laughs> nice balance. Uh, tell me about auditioning for this role, how you got it. I auditioned, I think, once and then went for the callback, and then they told me I had the job. And then it must have taken like a month to find like a fish whole Eli. month. No, yeah, but I went in there like 20 times at the same uh, casting building. So yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Like they had kids flying out, like back and forth. And then I met mm -hmm. Cade, and I was like, this kid is really funny. Like his facial expressions are awesome. And then Makai was just like super chill. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Hello, don't look now. But there's wild creators Riders. of the show right here. <laughs> Maybe you can get a Wonderful picture. Wonderful creators. <laughs> Be careful, hey. they bite. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Mike Algarver, Gabe Schneider. Uh, code name, Malbert2000. That's what I call him. <laughs> the two geniuses <laughs> behind the show. I love being in the wardrobe room because it's like, it, it's like playing dress up. Oh, it's, it is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's so fun because with wardrobe, it's a huge part of your character. Oh yeah. It, it's like the way the clothes feel on you and like if you're in a scene and you're like sleeping and then you have like your pajamas and like the fuzzies <laughs> and <laughs> the weird references. But no, clothes have a lot to do with your character. Now you two play best friends. Yes. Um, yes. Have you become friends in real life? Do you hang out? Oh um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have become really close friends. Yeah. Like we share music tastes and like she writes a lot so I read it and it's like it's so much fun. We have a lot of fun together. I'm Makai Curtis. I play fish on the show, and no, nah, that's it. <laughs> I gotta say, you got the, the swaggiest outfit. <laughs> we are in, at your school? Yeah, this is school. So, cool. so, so please, show me around. First off, I'm gonna show you my locker. Fancy okay. number 208. Let me just remember the combination. There is no combination. So this what? is a, it's kind of cleared out already. I used to have No, I see, I see one more thing. What's this? My, uh, my comic book. Oh. The digitizer. 
His photo double has, well, had like a bunch of comic books yeah. in that last locker there. So the Secret stash secret style. Stash. Oh, yeah. Nobody nice. knew about it. There are also cartoon elements in mm -hmm. this show. Is it hard to act off of that? Because I imagine that you have to use your imagination a lot when you're doing that. Yeah, so sometimes there'll be like a really serious situation, like in uh, the Halloween episode Flies, so, like it's super scary, we're about to die, and uh, I have a really funny animation. So it's hard to be like, oh, oh my gosh, and then turn <laughs> into be like, oh my gosh, you're so funny. Oh, oh my God. Like it was weird yeah. to like transfer back and forth. Right. Because Kirby also imagines people in animation. Like, yeah. can you imagine me in animation right now? I probably could. Okay. The so what's pink, happening right now? The pink lipstick, the mm -hmm. California necklace. I see uh, your top. Uh, I love you have cool shoes. I didn't even see your shoes. <laughs> These Just would be get down and get that. <laughs> They're almost as cool as mine. Almost, but I mean, dude. We have, hey. we have awesome kicks. This is our uh, trophy case, and basically this is kind of like random pictures of people, people. they found. These on are the all of Fish's ex-girlfriends. Yeah. Just for sure. Wow. Yeah, he's, so he's, he's a bit of a baller. He's very popular. Yeah. Very popular <laughs> guy. I guess you could say that. <laughs> he, he's popular with his own crowd, which is basically us three. Yeah. You know what? That's a good crowd to be popular with. Oh yeah. In my oh, yeah. opinion. Yeah. That's Streets of the Inn, bro. Very there cool. My favorite outfit, and I'm like a very, very simple. I think like simple is like so much, you know? And I love this outfit because it's a eyelet shirt and it's so classy and it's very feminine and then it's very um like proper and professional and then I like to add this fun skirt with it. It gives it that pop of color and it reminds me of Hawaii. And then Belinda's like notorious outfit that is in like the opening titles and like the first episode and everything is this blue shirt from H&M which I love and then we pair it with this white skirt with tulips at the bottom and it's very very cute very girly and now have your character styles influenced your own style in a way <laughs> yes i think i mine is kind of similar to dawn dawn wears a lot of uh, like dark colors very often but then she mm -hmm. also has like really fun pops of colors a lot like this yeah. pink dress but this is my favorite outfit it's like this is from top shop and then this is from free people which i love and i love it because i usually wear a lot of like a dark jeans with like the rips and then my combat boots which is what uh dawn wears so i think that's mm -hmm. kind of we mix that style a lot and we have the best costume designers they really have helped us out and like helped us find our characters which is a really big part like tiffany said what else would you like everybody to know about Kirby Buckets? Uh, Kirby Buckets is just like a super cool show that is about us three and kind of like our wacky adventures and like my imagination yeah. and like only the viewers and me will be able to see the animation because it's like my thoughts. Look out for stuff that normal freshman kids would do. And <laughs> like, yeah. Look out for crazy, outrageous, laugh out loud moments that yeah. you will not be expecting. You guys, thank you so much. Can we do like a special, I mean, I don't know. Can I pretend to be part of your crew? Can we do like a special like camp? Oh yeah, here, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, where should we put the mic? Here. We actually have a special here, thing. I'll, I'll, yeah, we do. Are we gonna do this one or yeah. this? Yeah. Uh, we'll do this. We'll, we'll right, do ready? this one. Ready, so go. You, you double tap, tap twice, and you go. Oh, so I like double tap yeah. and Hulk out? Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, okay, ready, go. One, two, three.